For the next session, please welcome Lakshmi Rebecca, co-founder Red Bangle. Lakshmi is an award-winning talk show host, filmmaker turned entrepreneur, and also now the co-founder of Red Bangle, a cloud video production platform. Based on years of experience contributing to documentary films and running a boutique production studio that created YouTube and corporate videos, Lakshmi gained a deep insight into the video production industry, into building a business for scale, and into growing the, and into the growing needs of uh, video needs of enterprises. And with the Red Bangle Film Collaborative, she's bringing it all together. Red Bangle has created videos for some of the largest businesses in the world, producing everything from ad films to web series, explainers, and case studies across 100 countries. Today, as she joins us for a keynote address, she will speak about the magic of video storytelling. Lakshmi will be joined by Anandita Sena, Head of Corporate Communications at l and Metro Rail Hyderabad, to drive a conversation after her keynote. Lakshmi. Hi, everybody. I hope you can hear me. Hey, nice to be here. And thank you so much, Amit and team, for the invite. Um, so videos, right? The power of videos. Before we talk about videos, and I'm kind of my presentation sort of has an overload of videos, so we'll get to that in a minute. Before we talk about videos, let's talk about visuals for a second, right? Um, I think as you look around this room, I believe there are about 200 people. When you look at each of the faces in this room, the way they are dressed, there's a visual there. And there's a story behind each of those people, where they come from. And perhaps some looks are far more deceptive and well-framed than they are, right? And some are more, you know, it is what it is. So before I, and some of you maybe know me, most of you don't know me, before I go into talking about videos, I want to focus on this visual, right? And I'm going to throw a question to you about me. So, simple question. What kind of a home do you think I grew up in as a child? Question is, you know, all of you, just throw up your hand and shout out the answer. When you see me today, what kind of a home do you think I grew up in? A home where lot many stories were told. Lot many stories were told. Very interesting, okay. A happy home, all right. I like that answer. What else? A grandmother was a great storyteller. Okay. I, I, love, I love the storytelling piece. Thanks, Anandita. What else? Come on, people in the back. I'm sure you can hear me. So, what do you think? I watched a lot of movies, okay? Somebody had something there. Conservative. Yes, you're right on that. Conservative family. Anyone else? Sorry? Ah, oh, I had tons of jewelry, huh? And makeup too. Okay. All right. So I'll give the answer. Except for that conservative piece, nothing is true. Nothing you imagined is true. I did not have a grandmother telling me stories. She had health issues. Yes, I had some stories told to me when I was an infant. I grew up in pretty much a single income, lower middle class home, which was about 400 square feet big. That's the size of the stage. When you look at the stage, it looks like, yeah, okay, four people can fit here. That was my mother, father, sister, and me. But think about it. You need at least a bathroom and a loo, a kitchen, some sort of a, a space to sit in. But that's it. There were only two doors, the main door and the bathroom door. That's the home I grew up in. Thankfully, my mother was very smart with money. She was a banker. She worked as a clerk all her life. So she managed to put us through good education and give us great food. That explains the height, no heels. <laughs> okay. And of course, good genes, right? So you don't have to work hard for that. So that's my story. Now I've learned to paint this picture to you. This is just one way of showing you a visual, right? And so every day, all of us are giving each other visual cues about different things, painting different pictures for different reasons, right? Video just takes it to the next level, right? Am I, am I showing you something I'm not today? No, I'm showing you who I am today. But this is something I've become over years, right? I've left home, I'm 42 now, I left home when I was 18. Lots of people have helped me to get where I am today. 
So about 11 years ago, I started a YouTube channel featuring unsung heroes and then that evolved to featuring social entrepreneurs. And what that YouTube channel did for me, and we, I think the channel now has about 150 episodes of that talk show, uh, you know, that was, in my, that was mentioned in my introduction. What that YouTube channel did for me is help me meet a lot of people, interesting, intelligent people with a lot of purpose in their lives, and that's what I could learn from them. Also, it opened up a very strong network, right? A lot of my growth today comes because of that network. And basis, the knowledge of building that YouTube channel and making as many videos as we did for that is what we built today, the business that we run today, which you see behind me, it's called Red Bangle. Um, so, you know, if, if you want to mingle with us later, Arundam, our vice president of business who's standing at the back quietly looking at his phone, wave out Arundam. Like he's our vice president of business, you can talk to us later. We're about 45 people big now. Uh, that's my YouTube channel. If you look at it later, I'll play a snippet of a, of a video from it later. That's the team from our last party in, in December. Um, so all of this is built on, on the power of all those videos that I made and the people that I met, okay? I'm no longer active on YouTube because the business takes up all my time. But I'll tell you what, who does it way better than any of us here? Modi ji, okay? He's fantastic with his PR and a lot of us can learn a lot from him. If you watch his, if you look at his social feed, there are so many videos, right? Just so many. So let's actually watch a few. Shri Narendra Modi ji ki zordar taliyon ke saath manch par swagat karein. Hey, don't laugh. Saugand mujhe is mitti ki मैं देश नहीं मिटने दूंगा मैं देश नहीं मिटने दूंगा मैं देश नहीं झुकने दूंगा सौगंध मुझे इस मिट्टी की मैं देश नहीं मिटने दूंगा मैं देश नहीं मिटने दूंगा मैं देश नहीं झुकने दूंगा संप्रदायवाद के नाम पर मुझे वोट मत देना हमें तो सवा सौ करोड़ देशवासियों की एकता अखंडता भाईचारा सद्भावना उसी के आधार पर देश को आगे बढ़ाना है इक्कीसवीं सदी का भारत पूरी दुनिया को संदेश दे रहा है कि इकोनॉमी और इकोलॉजी कोई विरोध आभासी क्षेत्र नहीं है पर्यावरण की रक्षा के साथ ही देश की प्रगति भी हो सकती है ये भारत ने दुनिया को करके दिखाया है जो पशु है उससे इंसान को खतरा है कि इंसान से पशु को खतरा है ऑल्सो मोदी जी सर फर्स्ट वन यू सो वॉज हाई टेक लॉट्स ऑफ मनी बिहाइंड इट द होलोग्राफिक यू नो साइमल्टेनियस कास्ट अक्रॉस मल्टी लोकेशन द सेकेंड वन वॉज जिस नाइस यूट्यूब शॉर्ट बट यू कैन सी वेदर इट्स ही सपोजली ऑन वेकेशन और नॉट और ही इज एट होम एंड देन यू सी वन मोर वीडियो एंड विल रैप अप ऑन द Modi ji ideas but this i think a lot of you may have seen already the conversation with akshay kumar aaj main aapko batau ki main mujhe mauka mila yahan hamare pradhan mantri ke ghar pe aane ka aur inse baat cheet karne ka to main koi political questions nahi laya hu mujhe mujhe janna hai ki as a person as a human being ek insaan ke nate hamare jo pradhan mantri hain wo kaise hain क्या खाते हैं लेट्स स्किप फॉरवर्ड वन सेकंड बिफोर यू प्ले दिस वीडियो सो ऑलरेडी यू सॉ बिटवीन दोस थ्री डिफरेंट वीडियोस अ वेरी डायनामिक पिक्चर्स बीइंग पेंटेड ऑफ मोदी जी राइट आई थिंक हिज पीआर फंक्शन लाइक हु वाज हेडिंग इट एंड द होल टीम आई थिंक दे आर ब्रिलियंट एब्सोल्युटली ब्रिलियंट एंड देयर इज अ लॉट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस टू लर्न एंड यस यू यू कांट एज एन इंडिविजुअल आई डोंट यू नो व्हाइल आई टॉक्ड अबाउट मी स्टार्टिंग विद माय यूट्यूब चैनल इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू कीप दैट गोइंग फॉर फाइव इयर्स टेन इयर्स ट्वेंटी इयर्स यू नीड अ होल टीम बिहाइंड इट बट एज अ बिजनेस इफ यू पुटिंग मनी बिहाइंड अ वीडियो देर इज अ लॉट टू थिंक अबाउट 
and there's a lot that you can do. So what you need to think about, I'll come to later, but all the different things you can do, I think Modi ji has some great examples. Can we play this video, please? Thank you. Okay, I think he is India's biggest influencer, right? I don't think it's Shah Rukh Khan or anybody else. I think it's him. And he's th I think he's done a marvelous job of it. And there's a lot we can learn from him. So yeah, why videos? Why visuals, right? We process it 60,000 times faster than we process text. And of course, when you do a Google, Google search result, videos are 50 times more likely to appear in search results than text, right? Um, OK, so. What I've got for you now um, is a few more interesting videos, right? All examples, what I think are examples, great examples of videos being used for PR, right? This one is from Uber. Um, people who do a lot of research in, your, in the PR space may know of this already. Um, this was put out at a time where Uber didn't have a great public image, and in the middle of the pandemic, they put out this video to say, thank you for not riding. Can we play the video, please? Here's the next one. So there's a collection of islands called uh, Faroe Islands. This, these islands are part of Denmark, and they decided to shut down for a short while. Obviously, they're an interesting tourist destination or tourism destination. But they decided to shut down, and instead of taking flack for it, they did something very pro proactive with their PR. Here's the video. Far north lie 18 small islands called the Faroe Islands, isolated by the North Atlantic Ocean green mountains and plunging waterfalls, unspoiled and unexplored. But in a world where more and more tourists search for novelties, how can the islands remain unspoiled by tourism? The islanders have found a solution. On behalf of the Faroese government, I hereby declare the Faroe Islands closed for maintenance and open for volunteerism during the last weekend of April. During the weekend, all sites and attractions will be closed for regular tourists. However, we invite volunteers from abroad to lend us a helping hand by working side by side with locals, maintaining walking trails, fences and viewpoints to preserve our beautiful nature. In return, the Faroe Islands will provide free food and stay for everyone who helps out. I hope to see as many as possible on the last weekend of April. Thank you. Sign up at preservefaroeislands.com. So this led to hundreds of volunteers signing up, going there for the last weekend of April and actually help clean up the island and obviously presents a very interesting set of stories for the press. And now for the next one, OB tampons. How many of you have seen this one? Okay, so... Um, for a short while, OB tampons could not supply its customers, right? Um, and that led to a lot of, obviously, flack uh, in the press. And what they said is, when we come back in the market, they did something very interesting when it comes to PR. They put a video out, an apology, but they personalized the apology. So they personalized the video for about 60,000 
of their customers, right? Watch this. In 2010, a distribution problem meant that OB tampons were gone from the shelves. With no other tampon like it on the market, women had no option. We needed to apologize to a very loyal user base. So we sent a song and music video to each of these women, personally, all 65,010 of them. Jenna and everyone else on the OB database received an email connecting them to their own personal apology. We achieved a 61% email click-through rate. Then we invited users to share the video with friends so they could make an apology of their own. And that's when a little sorry got big. Within three months, we received over 1 million Facebook shares, 1.8 million Twitter impressions, nearly 1 million coupon downloads, worldwide news placements, and 27 million unique video views on our website all proving that it's never too late to say triple sorry. A personal apology just for you. So in India, we've seen Cadbury do this, like with Shah Rukh Khan and a few other artists where they use AI to personalize, you know, the videos. And I think it's, it's a very exciting use of technology. This is a video that we made. Um, Indeed had uh, done a, done, run research um, last year to do with the healthcare sector and working conditions in the healthcare sector to do with the pandemic, but also the fact that the healthcare sector needs more workers and wanted to associate its brand with this sort of demand fulfillment and make the brand indeed more visible with the employers, right? So healthcare companies. So they came to us saying, we've made this report, here are some findings from the report. Can we have this video that's gonna go out as the press release? This is a much simpler exercise as compared to a lot of the other videos that, we, that you've seen today. But um, nevertheless, we'll play 60 seconds of this. Thank you. 
I think I think they got some good mileage around that campaign. And obviously, it opened a lot of doors for them in terms of sales conversations <laughs> with hospitals and large healthcare companies. Now, for the next one, yeah, this is some of the press that they got for that campaign. For the next one, I'll sk actually skip this, move on to this second last video of mine. MyGate, um, when they first, you know, sort of launched within the first year or two, um, the founders, I don't know if you know them, one of the founders actually comes from the Indian Defense you know, Academy. And uh, his thought process was that security guards, the people who stand outside our homes and apartments, that as, you know, need to be celebrated, we need to tell them that we're proud of them, we need to show them that we care, and treat them almost like the heroes at the borders, right? So that was the brief. And so we went about meeting many, many security guards and building the storyline based on their life and their day, their day. And this is the video or film that we made. And this was sort of a, a PR slash launch, brand launch film for MyGate. This story is 80 lakh aise Hindustaniyo ki hai, jinne aap jante zarur hai, magar pehchante nahi hai. हर रोज हमारी मुलाकात न जाने कितने ऐसे चेहरों से होती है इनमें कुछ चेहरे अपने बन जाते हैं और कुछ बस एक बेनाम परछाई कौन है ये लोग कहां से आते हैं ये इनमें से पचानवे प्रतिशत लोग अपने घरों से बहुत दूर हैं ये लोग इंडिया के बड़े शहरों में अलग अलग किरदार निभाते हैं कभी हमारे कान कभी आंखें तो कभी हमारे हाथ बनकर इनमें कुछ ऐसे भी हैं जो सुबह ड्यूटी ज्वाइन करने से पहले अपने घर की ड्यूटी पूरी करके आते हैं इन बड़ी बड़ी इमारतों में रहने वाले लोगों की दिन रात सहायता करने वालों को न जाने हम दिन में कितनी बार अनदेखा कर देते हैं जहां हम रोज पंद्रह मिनट ये सोचने में लगा देते हैं कि आज लंच में क्या खाना है यहां दस मिनट में इनकी लंच ब्रेक खत्म महीनों घर से दूर रह के ये अनजान लोगों के बीच अपनी ड्यूटी निभाते हैं ये दिन रात मेहनत करके एक एक पैसा घर भेजते हैं ताकि हमारे परिवार की तरह इनका परिवार भी आगे बढ़ सके तब तपाती धूप हो या बारह घंटे की शिफ्ट की थकान आपके घर आए हर मेहमान को गेट पे ये एक मुस्कुराता चेहरा जरूर दिखेगा आइए आज एक वादा करते हैं खुद से कि दो बातें ही सही इनके साथ भी कुछ बांटेंगे कि कभी इनकी पीठ थपथपा के इनका शुक्रिया अदा करेंगे अब इन अस्सी लाख सिक्योरिटी गार्ड्स को हम अनदेखा नहीं करेंगे so to me right i mean we receive video briefs every day i think the bottom line is video koi bhi bana sakta hai okay you, there are a bunch, whole bunch of students i think about 20 30 students here with us college students right most of you would have taken your phone and made videos correct yeah and you'll probably make one or two today yeah for social media media sorry so anybody can make a video Right? You can come to us and make you a nice video. You can make a video yourself on your phone. You can hire a, a cinematographer and make your own video. But I think video is, is just one speck in the larger scheme of things when you think of your communication. Right? When you think of communicating something, um, while you can say, OK, I've got, I've got a full plan and, and video is part of it, the more important thing is that what is that plan? What is it that you want to communicate? You know, it's like a hub and spoke thing. Video can be at, in the middle of that hub somewhere, but there are so many different spokes that come out of it that sort of bring it all together to make that cycle wheel. I don't think a great video brief comes as an independent thought. I think it comes as a whole collection of thoughts, right? Um, and unfortunately, we at Red Bangle are only privy to one little sliver of that thought process. But I think for all of you, my only request will be don't think of a video unless there's a larger thought process because the money that you spend on a video is literally a fraction of what you'll spend on an entire PR campaign or an entire communication plan, right? Um, yeah, and I think that's, that's really it for my presentation. So over to Anandita to come on stage. And thank you so much. Hi, good afternoon, everyone.
first of all, yes, as Lakshmi started, thanks uh, Amit and the team for giving us this opportunity, and especially to me to speak to someone as vibrant as Lakshmi. Well, uh, Thank you. wonderful, beautiful videos. And uh, more or less, I could relate that uh, I had a similar uh, background. Uh, I had a working mother, middle class family. I had good food, only that it didn't work for me vertically. Uh, that's it. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> genes play a role. <laughs> yeah. So, I uh, just wanted to know that uh, why do you think, what do you think are the main uh, elements? Why you could be such a wonderful um, storyteller. Maybe I cannot, I could not. Is it that uh, the inspiration, is it that the strong character in your narrative or the ecosystem around, what do you think that you know, creates the difference? I think like anything else, practice. The more stories you tell, the yeah, better What was the genesis? How, how, how did you, when did you first think that, okay, I can be a storyteller and it can, I can take it as my profession because end of the day, it is no more bread and butter, did. but cheese and wine. I don't think I ever did. Okay. I don't think I ever did. I think uh, it's a it's a sequence of accidents. Oh. Yeah. I don't think I I I, uh, I grew up thinking that oh, I'm I'm going to become this now. I, think, okay. I don't think I even realized what I could do. So. Okay. Um, coming to your last video about that uh, my gate and also you have shown our movies uh, holographic images and all. So in the time of this metaverse AI AR we talk about. How do you think? It, uh, do you think it works a little different from a real-time storyteller that how, through those technology, do you think you can well connect to the heart and mind of people? Hmm, that's a very interesting question. Um, and I honestly don't know if I have an answer to it because I feel like, I think it depends. An immersive experience is definitely going to grab your attention a lot more than something that's not immersive, right? If you um, it's one thing to have someone on a screen or on a stage talk for half an hour non-stop and it's one way that's very different to someone engaging with you or you interacting with something. Mm -hmm. I personally prefer, you know, if it's interactive. Yes. There's just so much more engagement. You, you know, you're, you're not going to lose my attention, right? Um, so I think whatever you do, whether it's just as a touch screen that you have to interact with or it's an immersive experience, as long as it's interactive, you, I just think you hold a much stronger chance of driving a message forward. Great. So just taking a cue from here, Lakshmi, uh, okay, so what do you think the ROI, because nowadays for PR and everything, it's ROI, 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 okay, that just resonates here. So what do you think is the ROI while making a film to you, I'm asking, as a filmmaker, what is the ROI? Is it just the subscribe per base or the hits? Or the in, there is some intang, intangible aspect to it, a feature to it, which you, for you, it gives you a kick for the next one. See, for me, it's that we are able to communicate the message clearly. Okay? That's also because, like I mentioned earlier, earlier we don't have the full picture. We, we get the brief for that video or film. Having said that, there is a client of ours today, and I can't, unfortunately cannot mention the name. They're talking to us to say, hey, can you take over our YouTube channel? take care of it and make all the content for the next one year with the intent of reaching 10,000 organic views every single month, right? Now that's a goal that we have to reach. Then everything we do, YouTube SEO, the kind of topics there's we There's a number. Pick, there's a number. Now, whether or not a client, like unlike this, most of the clients don't give us a number, but even if they don't give us one, I know there is one. Because without, Today, I mean, you can't just spend without being conscious of ROI. I think, I, I don't know when we, if we ever did that. So if you think of a campaign, whether it's PR or marketing, I think that goal is already set, you know. Whatever you communicate has to help you achieve an X goal or a, or a Y result. And yeah, like I said, video is just one of the tools. Okay, just very effective communication indeed, whether it's video storytelling or a static one. Um, uh, it's everything is about mass media and too many contents all around, floating around. Um, and okay, it's the age more or less of a goldfish. It doesn't stay for a longer time. So what is that special punch you think you need to put into it to maintain the brand resonance, your video, the message resonance in people's mind, which stays, it doesn't just come, you blink and gone. 
it stays like in uh, you know even if we i would say for any uh, if we talk about some retail brands like in today's day even if we talk about washing powder uh, in most of the households they say that surf khatam ho gaya even if it's wheel or rin or uh, kit kat pakad ke ki i like cadbury okay so what is that brand resonance how do you create that in this time when human memory has become very volatile and you don't really stick to something because so many contents floating i think that that's a lot down to the strategy there's a lot of research and thinking that goes beyond behind arriving at a particular strategy and then designing a lot of comms around that one strategy and it's not just one video of film right uh, and unfortunately i'm not from a strategy background so anyone here from a strategy background might be able to anyone answer that question better who who can who can give you uh, give uh, just a story line uh, just a line a very interesting punch line to lakshmi and tell her that in a brief in maybe about five sentences how she can develop a story who can do that a beautiful punch line yeah anyone anyone all answers welcome guys no pressure yeah any story i'm not in strategy yeah so this yeah. is a strategy question yeah ek thi rani ek ek tha raja ek thi rani uh, what happened the uh, kahani so it ends there but then lakshmi takes over anyone <laughs> if somebody quietly tell me what the rest of the lines are <laughs> okay so while you're making the film and there are many students there so what yeah. would you, it would be your i uh, advice to them suggestion to them to put more effort and creativity to the uh, pre production production post production so if i segment it free how do you think I think first put most of the time into thinking kyun bana rahe ho kis kiske liye bana rahe ho you know and then how how you make it will flow later but as long as the most important thing is why and for who because if you if you're clear about why you're making something or why you're doing something what you're trying to communicate and who everything else follows from there right it's it's it becomes so much more so much more streamlined um like indeed was very clear that you know they came to us saying we want this is specifically for you know sort of senior leadership in the healthcare industry so then everything that was said in that video sort of was done in a slightly endearing manner for that audience right and i think i don't think this video is even on the youtube channel because they don't care that it's on the youtube channel you know it's their key account managers going into conversation showing that video or it goes out with a press release and that's the job of that video right so yeah i hope that i've answered uh, that question okay um another very interesting thing while i especially see the age of social media that there are different platforms so while making a video a very strong narrative your own narrative uh, do you think it should be customized for a uh, platform specific or you give a boost to it or uh, an angle to it which can cater to all the platforms together yeah. reaches the mass yeah i mean you make one video and this is a done thing now and arindam will tell you there's a there's an ad film we made last uh, last month guess how many versions of it we made forget the language adapts get how many outputs we gave of one 30 second ad film digital ad film any guesses yeah you sorry right answer get this 80 80 okay anybody else little higher 120 little higher 180 little higher not 180 a little higher 240 and the client has come back asking for more versions okay yes there are some language adapts but the 30 seconds has a 20 has a 15 has a 10 has a 6 then there are vertical versions okay and there are different outputs for different platforms right so it's crazy so you don't have to make many versions of the film you make one film or one video but you have to adapt it to so many different platforms and how you deploy it in terms of how you boost it so what is the what is the biggest challenge you face like i understand that you have to Uh, more or less patient to our clients uh, requirement or maybe uh, see the creativity what you have they may not but they know what they want absolutely and there's a very great team. marketer sitting on the other absolutely. side yeah and then the brief is not proper and they keep on changing them. so when you think is the right time tell the students here to tell no 
to what your brick don't retain your brief anymore uh, yeah, you can never do that guys we're fine. in the service business okay <laughs> let's be honest <laughs> brief aayega you listen to it you'll decipher it you'll start work if the brief tweaks a little bit as long as there's logic to that you go along with that tweak and you redo some of the work service industry i think all of you will understand it is that's the, that's a fact of life sometimes you push back if you've done a lot of the work already and the video is almost ready you can push back but if the client has logic behind it you'll tell you'll have to tell the client hey listen you'll ha you'll have to pay me a little bit more for me to redo the work and give me a few more days to redo the work but you have to redo the work because they know their business way better than you do at least in our case that's that's what it is yeah because there are some business where uh, you know where uh, when you need to make a video you you really you become content rich you you know there's a lot of scope a lot of scope for creativity there like the last presentation which we had about uh, sustainability and uh, you know environment so uh, it becomes a very structured maybe the framework becomes very conservative so uh, to you three uh, major industry or topic you think you can really go crazy telling stories i think sustainability is a beautiful one I think it's a beautiful space space to make you know tell great stories and, and that last question around you know storytelling for around ESG right for India I think that's a, that was a very interesting conversation there because you're right I mean you might be doing a lot but unless you put those stories out there and you do it really well in an endearing manner this you know the story doesn't get carried through enough I think that's one um, the second and now I also think this. Um, because there's a lot of demand today that we are seeing in the market for employer branding right <laughs> culture and employer branding huge demand and uh, as companies sort of fight for talent telling their stories more uniquely talking about their work and and culture more uniquely has become uh, a bit of a challenge the third piece i don't know the third piece i think is more personal you know uh, for a lot of the leaders here what you know investing in you being more visible for your own brand and therefore being able to tap into the right opportunity i think that's a big one okay uh, so do you think really you need a proper uh, training education in uh, film making i didn't study film so you don't yeah that's yeah. Yeah, yeah you <laughs> no. may have the x factor so what are the you, you think that an x factor in a person Uh, who wants to be a video storyteller it works um of course you, know, you need to know the camera <laughs> actually all, all of that your cinematographer your director editor or everybody you can hire you don't need good, to know any team. of the technical pieces right you just need to know why you're making it and for whom you're making it that's really it and the other big thing and that is something that you learn only by doing more of it is can you say something that you would usually take 10 minutes to say can you say it in 30 seconds right and it takes a lot of time to bring that 10 minute spiel down to 30 seconds but if you can now that's great today that's what works you can still have a 10 minute version but 30 seconds you'll need to still hook the audience and i think that that, that takes a lot of time and effort and that's important too that's all what it counts show the be the cheetah there and yes. may give a Oh yeah. That was like, you know you know it looked like it was a very the amateurly made video that YouTube shot of Modi ji and you know with just interacting with the children but it was also cleverly done you you've got you know there's a little bit of an Indiana Jones vibe to it <laughs> him walking you know and the camera sort of following him and then him interacting with the kids what what he asked them they respond his answer whatever this yeah there's thought behind how that was edited down <laughs> with the yeah. hat of Harrison yes. Ford okay so over to the audience some interesting question thank you thank you ma'am do, do you need Can the you mic have a mic i'd like to add a personal touch to my question first of all you have helped us um, moderate a panel discussion in one of the organizations that i was working with and it was a global panel discussion stanbaje no uh <laughs> yes freidenberg yes yes <laughs> yes and um, it was really very uh, encouraging for me to know that amongst everybody else across the world they chose you to you know moderate the session and you were talking to a lot of big people i'm sure you remember there was the global head of sap and i'm i'm just coming so all i just want to know is how did you prepare for such a session because yes while you were given some questions already you know it still takes a lot of courage <laughs> and a lot of preparation to be able to you know take care of answers that come from them and hence also to be able to uh, prepare your mind well to be able to tweak and ensure nobody is getting offended in the meantime so 
I'm really curious to understand how did you prepare? Okay, I have a question back to you. Yeah, I'll keep my answer short. Um, I have a question back to you. What's your favorite creature or animal? I like uh, cats. You like cats. Okay. Imagine standing here on stage and imagining that this room is full of cats that you like. Okay, and you're going to make the cats dance. That's Thank what you're going to tell yourself. Thank you. <laughs> and this somebody told me and that's how I overcame my anxiety around being on stage. Interesting. Well, so it's a nice visualization thing. exercise that happens. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, throughout your uh, lovely presentation, you spoke about a lot of things which you should do or can do or have done. You presented like uh, all the videos which worked. What are the various don'ts? You didn't focus on that. What are the don'ts that you... The worst ones are when you try to cram too much information into one video. You try to make a two and a half minute and you have a 10 page brief. That's just like a non-starter. I think that's the number one. Um, so if you, if you can dial it down to absolutely one primary message, you can have a couple of secondary things that support the primary message, but dial it down to one. What's the number one thing you absolutely must and have to communicate? That is the game changer. That's what your video, you know, script revolves around and everything else flows from there. Thank you so much, audience. Thank you, everybody. Uh, beautiful. Thank you, Lakshmi, for your presentation. Thank you, too. And I'm sure uh, you'll get one storyteller, wannabe storyteller, who can one day make a beautiful story about you. Thank, Thank you, you so Anandita. Thank you so much, everyone. Enjoy your lunch.